Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for another great deck tech here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we bring you True Fire Hellion, a modern Boros deck that uses True Fire Captain to punch a hole through the face of your opponent. Priced at about $380 in paper and 70 ticks on MTGO, this deck is remarkably fast off the mark and fairly competitive. So let's get started. True Fire Hellion uses ramp and card draw spells to spring you into additional turns and rob your opponent of time to defend themselves. So we start out with Simeon Spirit Guide, an ape spirit creature for two and a red. You can exile this from your hand and add one red mana to your pool. Paired with that, we have Manamorphose, an instant for one and a red or green that lets you add two mana of any color and you draw a card. Additional card draw spells are Faithless Looting. For one red, you can draw two cards and then discard two cards. It has Flashback for one red and two, and you can cast it twice to pull together your win condition. Magmatic Insight. For one red, you can discard a land and draw two cards. I have found this extremely useful as I'm always trying to avoid flooding out. Now let's talk about our win condition. One of two possible precursors for the win condition is Gideon of the Trials. A Planeswalker for two white and one, Gideon can create an emblem that prevents you from losing the game as long as a Gideon Planeswalker is on the battlefield. This zero ability is the primary ability that you are going to need. Additionally, you can plus one it to prevent all damage from a permanent until your next turn, or as a second zero ability, turn it into a 4-4 human with indestructible until end of turn. Once Gideon is out and its emblem is out, you'll be able to cast spells that will set you up for your win condition. If Gideon doesn't find his way into your hand, you have a backup. Angel's Grace and is an instant for one white that can prevent you from losing the game until end of turn. This will supplement Gideon and help you get to your win condition. Now here are some of the spells you're looking to cast with either Angel's Grace in hand or Gideon with an emblem. We have Chance for Glory, an instant for one, a red and a white, that gives your creatures indestructible and gives you another turn. With that turn, you have until the end of the new turn to win or you lose the game. Your emblem will protect you as will Angel's Grace. To protect yourself, you have Pact of Negation, a counter spell for zero. It has an upkeep cost of two blue and three that, if not paid, will cause you to lose the game. Don't worry, Gideon and Angel's Grace will stop this. All of these extra turns and ramp and card draw is designed to get you the pieces you need for your win condition. The first piece, True Fire Captain. It's a human knight creature for two red and two white. It has Mentor. If True Fire Captain takes any damage, your opponent takes that much damage as well. This creature is partnered with another that will complete your win condition. Volcano Helgen is a 6-5 creature for two red and two that has an echo cost of X, where X is your life total. That means at the beginning of your upkeep, if this came under your control since the last upkeep, you have to sacrifice it unless you pay its echo cost. When Volcano Hellion enters the battlefield, it deals an amount of damage of your choice to you and a target creature. Once you have a Gideon with an emblem out or an Angel's Grace in hand, and once True Fire Captain is on the battlefield, when Volcano Hellion enters the battlefield, you want to do a billion damage to it. This will in turn do a billion damage to your opponent while you sit safely behind your Gideon Emblem or Angel's Grace. Now this win condition might seem a little complicated, but the deck with its card draw, mana fixing ramp, it can go off quickly. And when it does, your opponent can only sit and watch it happen. Now let's talk the sideboard. And I always encourage you to adjust the sideboard to your meta. What are people playing at your local game store? 
So we have two resurrections in case you find one of your creatures is constantly in the graveyard. Three path to exile if your opponent is running early game creatures that can threaten you. Two near death experiences as an alternate win condition, especially if your opponent is playing burn. You have one torpor orb. Now if you replace volcano hellion with near death experience, you can sideboard in Torpor Orb to stop other end of the battlefield triggers. You have two Wear Tear for enchantments or artifacts. Two Tormod's Crypt for Graveyard Hate. One Glorious End for any opponent who likes to storm. And two Banefire for general purpose burn that can make it through control. Now I encourage you to take this out for a spin. It's a lot of fun and I think it has a lot of potential. Well thank you for watching. We here at Chuckwagon MTG hope you enjoyed this deck tech. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification to see what's new. And be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, your pets. Everyone can use a little more magic in their lives. Thanks again and be sure to find us on Facebook and Twitter. Let us know what you think. Now hang on tight for a word from the best gaming store in Michigan. Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.